Hello, my name is Leah and I'm a sophomore at Union College. I am majoring in computer science with a digital media minor. And I was hoping to show you guys how to get dressed for hockey. So to start off, I'm going to be putting my hair up in a bun, like so. And I know a bunch of my fellow teammates prefer different types of buns, but I just go with a simple one like this and I just wrap it around and put one hair elastic over it. So one thing that's very important is having the right attire. So as you can see, I am wearing my favorite purple leggings and then after I'm doing my favorite socks. And with me, I like having tall socks that go all the way up, just like if I was playing soccer. So, I'm ready. And I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now just because I'm cold, but I am wearing just an oversized t-shirt. And this is how I skate. What I'm wearing is not the only important part. I need my hockey bag and my hockey stick. So let's show you what's inside this bag. I have a skate, a knee pad, shoulder pads, pants, a sock holder, another knee pad, glove, elbow pads, a jersey, and most importantly, my helmet. If you didn't catch everything I said, that is perfectly fine. So first we're gonna start with our sock holders. These are like shorts, and they have these little straps on the inside for a cut, so we stay safe. So you're just gonna put them on like you're wearing shorts, and you're gonna pull them up. And see how I have them going around each leg? Just gonna want to be like that. So next, next I'm gonna take my socks. These are not the normal type of socks like I have on my feet. But you're gonna take them and you're gonna put your leg through them like they're leg warmers. And then, see how this opens up? You're gonna just stick it under and Velcro it over. So if I try to do this, it's stuck right there. It's Velcroed on. And you're gonna do that with both legs. Okay, so for this next part, you're gonna wanna take your big padded shorts. I called them pants earlier. And you're gonna put them on like you did before. You're gonna pull them up. And at this point, I like to tuck my shirt inside and make sure I do this. And then I'm gonna come up here, make sure this is tied and tighten this so it fits perfectly. So it just sits there. I can move and it won't fall. So for this next part, we're gonna take our shin pads and you're gonna take your socks that you just put on and roll them up above your knee. Looks a little, a little silly, but that's fine. It doesn't matter which one you put on first, just make sure that they're on the correct leg. And you're gonna put it on and strap it in. You're gonna to wanna to go super tight so that, so that it doesn't move, right? So you're gonna do that with both legs. And then you're gonna, you're not gonna stay like this. You're gonna, this is a little challenging. You're gonna bring your sock down over it so it covers it. See how you can see how the shin pad ends and then it goes tight, you're gonna want it to be like that. So watch again. You're gonna take it, you're gonna go over, and you might have to push your shin pad up and bring it down. There you go. So, I'm almost halfway there. This next part is very important. It's hard to skate without these. You don't wanna put your skates on. So you're gonna wanna make sure it's loose. So see how I'm just playing with it to loosen it up like you're putting on your sneakers. You gotta loosen it up, especially since this is a boot. You can't just put it on. So I like to put my right foot on in first. 
make sure it's in, make sure it's comfy. And then you're gonna start from the bottom and tighten it, you're just gonna pull. And you're gonna want it to be as tight as you can. I know growing up I didn't like it that tight, but now I get it super tight. And my secret is you just tie it like you're tying your sneaker. Tie and pull. And I like to do a double knot. So as you can see, here it is. If you notice, I have this um, red piece on. That's just to protect the blade because I'm not standing on the ice right now. I don't want to ruin my blade. It helps if you sit. Oh. See? It can be a little tricky. I know for many years I had my parents help me or a teammate help me. And we just help each other until you got tight enough. Double knot, and there you go. Your bottom half is done. We're gonna take our shoulder pads. Fun. And you're gonna wanna make sure you know that the Velcro side is up front, and the straps are in back. And you're gonna just flop it over your head. And there is, I just noticed there's a tag, so just like your shirt and pants, you know which size comes first. I now I like to go with my left side first, and there's this strap in the back. You're going to just take it and go as tight as you want so that it doesn't move. And then you're going to take the same on the other side. So see how I have it? It's coming close to right here. There's very little space that can hit. You want it to be fitting perfectly. And I have my shoulders. But one thing is, this is still flopping up in the air. We're gonna wanna tie this down. So we're gonna take the Velcro, come around, do that. And you're almost there. Next step, what if we fall on our elbows? We'll be fine because we have our elbow pads. Get your elbow pads on with this adjustable part to your shoulder. So you're going to slip it in just like this and see how I have this velcro right here. I'm going to bring it right there and I have this one already strapped in and I'm going to then bring my shoulder pad just have it resting on top of my elbow pads. So see how my whole arm is protected? And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Bring this down, and look at that. I'm almost done. Just one slight problem. I'm not wearing a jersey. How will people know what team I'm on? So with that, I'm gonna solve it by putting this on. See how I have the number? The number is going to go back. This is just like putting on your t-shirt, getting ready for the day. So now you can tell that I'm on the New England Future Star team. And I am number 34. So, you might think I'm good to go. Incorrect. There's one more thing. I just took my hair down, I do a little hair flip, and I do a low ponytail in the back. I know a bunch of girls like doing little buns, and it does not have to be perfect. See how bad this is? That's fine. No one's going to see it. You're then going to put your helmet on. You're going to want to make sure it fits quite well because your head is super important. You don't want to get hurt. I'm gonna see how it fits so well. It's not shaking, it fits perfectly. 
you are going to grab your gloves. What's the last thing you need if you're going to actually go and play hockey? A stick. So you're going to... This is what you're going to look like. And that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to get dressed for hockey, and I hope to see you guys on the ice. Bye. One thing, a few things I wanted to mention is I've been playing hockey for 14 years, give or take. I started around kindergarten. The more you practice getting dressed and undressed, the faster it, the process will be. I've learned to get dressed in about two, three minutes, maybe five minutes. I hope you guys all love hockey as much as I do. I know it's been such a great learning opportunity. I've met so many friends. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot.